Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy from Blockchain WTF. And welcome back to the latest edition of Business on the Blockchain. You might be asking, why are you wearing headphones? Good question. It's because today on Business on the Blockchain, we're covering Sony. Sony has been one of the most popular consumer technology brands for a good while now. They are Japanese based, but no matter where you live, you've likely heard of them. Whether it be the Walkman or the PlayStation 1, 2, 3, or 4, Sony has long cemented itself as a giant in technological innovation over the span of several decades. They are constantly trying to create technology that will address today's problems. The issue that Sony has turned to the blockchain to solve, representing digital rights. On April 26, 2018, a patent was published and it revealed that Sony had applied to use blockchain technology as a means of tracking digital rights. They have named it the Blockchain Based Digital Rights Management System. By implementing an immutable blockchain, ownership could be imprinted via transaction, permanently placing this information across multiple computers. This information is usually kept in centralized servers with a single point of failure, so if that server fails or is damaged, well, all that information might be compromised. The fact that companies use third parties to store this data brings up another problematic scenario. What if a company that's storing the data goes out of business? There might be very little recourse for digital rights holders if either of these things happen. And this is exactly why a digital rights-based blockchain makes sense. Any bit of information can be imprinted on the blockchain via transaction, and once the block that holds the transaction's data is confirmed, it's right there on the blockchain forever. You don't have to worry about a single point of failure because this ownership data would be broadcast to every computer running and maintaining that blockchain. So quickly going over the specifics of Sony's system, a user would provide their public key as a means of application. The publisher would then verify that the user had the correct private key that corresponds to the public key, indicating true ownership of the work. Why does this matter? Well, with the way media has gone towards what I like to call the YouTube model, we have seen many issues pop up when it comes to ownership of content. Currently, YouTube does provide the option to claim monetization if somebody re-uploads your content, but that process is still loosely defined, and who knows how that's going to go. Sony's ecosystem could clarify ownership, resolving disputes before they even occur. Take that, legal costs. What do you think about Sony's foray into the blockchain space? Let us know down below in the comments. While you're there, leave us a like and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our awesome content. Also check out Blockchain WTF for all your blockchain and cryptocurrency information needs. I'm Jeremy from Blockchain WTF, and I'll see you next time.